Hi boys and girls, we're back. It's our second virtual assembly and we're delighted to be here. I've got my friend Elbow, copyright reasons. How are you doing? Very well. Yeah, the boys and girls, they're all at home. We can't see them. Hmm. Yeah, some of the P3s need to get dressed. Ha, anyway. I thought we'd start this week's assembly with going over some feedback from last week's assembly. It's always good to find out how you're getting on and what people think. So here's our first one. I've got a note here. Dear Mr. Hoyle and your new friend, thank you very much. We loved the assembly. It was great to know that we were all watching together and feeling connected to our school. More of these, please. It's a nice one, isn't it? This one is from oh interesting um dear mr hoyle i see you're still doing those assemblies at least for the preston street kids it's on youtube so they can get up and leave at any point remember less is more that's from ruby primary seven at james gillespie's primary school thank you ruby another one here hopefully this will be in a nicer one. Dear Mr. Hoyle, mm, love the assemblies. More puppet, less muppet. How rude. So we're going to start our assembly with a song. It's one that lots of you will know. It's called Make a Difference by Stephen Fishbacker. And we are going to go over the chorus first of all, because it's not going to be on your screen just because of the way that the slides work. So. I've got my helper here to help me with the actions. It goes, I can make a difference, you can make a difference, we can make a difference in this world of ours. We'll do that one more time. Okay. I can make a difference, you can make a difference, we can make a difference in this world of ours. You'll see the song and you'll hear the music on the next slide. It's not the version you might know from school. I've tried my best to play the guitar to it. Enjoy. I can make a difference. Mr. Hoyle, family supporting. Take 40. theme for today is looking at our Preston Street values, our three R's. We had resilience last week, 
and we're going to go on to look at respect, but this week we are looking at responsibility and how we can all take responsibility and make a difference. Yes, you you really make a difference, Elbo, because you've helped me present these assemblies and these are not easy. We've had to change tops, we've had to pre-record, there's been a lot going on. He says that I can be quite grumpy to work with. Sorry. We also know that making a difference is part of our toolbox that we can use to keep us feeling emotionally and mentally well. So making a difference and taking responsibility to help with the small and the big parts of the world around you can really help us cope with the river of life. Some of you will be able to read these for yourselves, but we know that the things that you do, the things that people do, have an impact on the world. And that children and grown-ups can all contribute to solving those problems. And the small things that you do, do make a difference. They make a meaningful difference. I really like this quote, so make a difference. Unless someone like you cares an awful lot, nothing is going to get better, it's not. But luckily the boys and girls at Preston Street, they do care a lot, and so things will get better. So looking here, we can see all the ways that you can help being responsible at home. We have people making salad and helping prepare a meal. We've got an older sister comforting a younger sister there. We've got people video messaging elderly relatives, which is really important at the moment. And a reminder that being kind is of course a superpower. Kind to yourself and kind to others. The picture in the middle is really interesting. That is a young person taking responsibility for their home learning. And that is gonna really help their learning and help their development. But also it gives moms and dads and people at home a chance to work on things they might need for their own work or a chance to help with siblings too. So that is really important. Now our teachers this week have been giving me feedback and letting me know people that have really impressed them with your attitude to home learning, perhaps how you've been supporting people at home and being a really good brother or sister. So here are some shout outs. Congratulations to you if you see your name on the board. Okay, is everyone all ready for our shout outs? Here we go, we've got Miriam in P1. Billy in P6. Ishak in P2. Ayan in P6. Ayan in P6. Ada in P7. I think that's Ada, let's try that again. Ada in P7. Hazem in P5, Anna in P4, Kobe in P1, Billy in P6, and keep going, Elsie in P2, Charlie W in P7, Gabriel in P6, Miriam in P7, Arthur in P2, Holly in P7, Carl Otter in P1, Dan in P6, and the last person I can't see because my face is covering the screen. And finally, last but not least, Hattie in P4, Caius in P3, and Soren in P5. Well done, everybody. We're all really proud of you. And we're also proud of the mums and dads and people helping at home. We know you're working really hard on the home learning too. Well, I don't know about you, Elbow, but I've had a great time. Have you? Have you? Have you? Never mind. That's all we've got time for today. Thanks very much for tuning into our assembly. It's just been announced that the First Minister of Scotland is has introduced her four phases of moving um, out of the current situation to give us all the chance to see people, more things are going to be open, parks are going to be open, and there is a plan as well for schools to be open after the summer holidays, it looks like. So that's great news, and I'm really looking forward to seeing you all back in our school. Thank you to people that have contributed your views on how we how school might look like and feel like when we open we're going to take those really seriously moving forward um, and just know that, that we're caring about you and that we are really looking forward to seeing you soon 
So that's it from us. We're going to leave you with something very, very special. Mrs. McGavin, our additional support for learning principal teacher, and it turns out video editor extraordinaire has put this together with a little help from her colleagues. So this is for all of you from all of us, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.